Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the Mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network's presentation of basketball at Trinity Valley Community College. We are coming to you live from Leon Spencer Court, a historic Cardinal gym, where tonight the 13th ranked Lady Cardinals in a Region 14 Conference contest will take on the Parish Junior College Lady Dragons. The Lady Cardinals come into tonight's game 14 and 5 overall, 4 and 3 in conference play. Paris is 7 and 14 overall, and 3 and 4 is in conference play. I'm Benny Rogers. I'm joined, like always, by my buddy Tim Howard. As I bring Tim in, Tim. I want to tell folks at home not to adjust their computer screens. The Lady Cardinals do have eight players suited up tonight. I've already been trying to adjust this monitor to my left here. <laughs> and, yeah, isn't that great news? I mean, it's been forever since uh, they we could say that. But uh, Amani Jenkins is going to be joining us tonight. Glad to have her in the mix. No doubt about that. And Paris has only got seven suited up. But it's like you and I have said that every, each week we've just covered the Lady Cardinals with them having seven players. You can only play five. Five at a time, and, and I've loved your, your ongoing uh, mantra throughout the year. Seven, oh, but what a seven they are. <laughs> now they've added a eight, and that should help things a lot. I mean, I, we, we sound like a broken record at times, but the amount of pressure that's on Coach Precious Ivy to keep her squad, you know, not only free from injury, but foul trouble, everything that goes into that, it's a it's an incredible it, challenge. It has a domino effect. It, it like does. Two quick fouls with Kyle. That changes the entire complexion of her lineup for the night. And it keeps also, you know, in the back of the, the the player's mind, they have to be, you know, almost, not that they have been hesitant, but you know it's there. It's like, I, do, I, do I play aggressive here? They have for the most part, but it is in the back of their mind, especially when, it, you know, this time of year, everybody's beat up, bumps and bruises and that kind of thing. So you're just really one tragic tragedy away from being in a worst place scenario. Well, we saw Hay Haley McCollum get hurt against the killer game a week ago tonight. The game you and Eddie, Eddie Kite called for us, and they, I think she finds out tomorrow with the status of her for the rest of the season for her, and it doesn't sound good. Yeah, it, it was tough to see her go down, and immediately she clutches that left knee, as I recall, and just, you know, that the brace comes off, and she comes back with a big bag of ice, and it didn't look good. Get this, Tim. The Lady Cardinals are coming into tonight's game fresh off a 102 to 25 win at Jacksonville Saturday, a game in which they hit 16 three pointers. That's unlike the Lady Cardinals this year. That's not a typo. 16 threes in one game. And a lot of that, I think, had to do with the fact that they had a, a tough loss at home last week and, uh, you know, all kinds of. They came out focused and ready to go to, to bat. And here, here they are uh, trying to keep that momentum tonight. Kennedy Davis had eight alone, and she only had 17 going into the game. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> crazy. Uh, you you want to know the definition of hot? J just show that stat right there. Pretty cool. Lady Cardinals are averaging 80.3 points a game coming in, giving up 62.4. Paris is scoring 65.3, giving up 73.0. So it's one of those mismatches that we talk about on paper that don't look good for the Lady Dragons. But you know the Lady Cardinals want to follow that Jacksonville performance with another great performance tonight, especially welcoming Imani Jenkins back into the roster. Yeah, coming out uh, on a win like that, you want to keep that momentum going, keep the the synergy, the syncrasy, all of that kind of playing in together. And just get on a nice run and uh, build things 
up as you move closer to regional conference tournament time. Kennedy Davis scored 26 in the win against Jacksonville. And Kiara Sanderlin, we need to mention her. She got hurt early in the season and has been lost, but she is back now. And she had 20 points in that contest as well. Talk about a coming out party. I mean, she's been getting a few minutes here and there, but that's a big statement right there for Kiara. So glad to glad to have that uh, rolling. Thank you for joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network tonight, folks. We're going to have a crowd starting to file in a little, file in a little bit. And we're going to have a good crowd in attendance. I think the men are on the road tonight playing at Paris on another strange scheduling snafu or quirk of the Region 14 Conference where the women are at home against the same opponent the men are playing on the road. But you can go figure that out, and we'll be all knowing at the same time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, now, if you're in Paris, you, you got to make a, a stop over at Shoals Barbecue. That's that's my recommendation for tonight. Or Capizzi's or Burgerland. But not that I missed dinner. Tim has worked a little bit in Paris before. I, I, I frequented all those restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny. I try to touch base with some of the players and ask them, how's Burgerland? How, how's Capizzi? Oh, I was there a couple of days ago, you know. So it's uh, I didn't get to do that tonight. Maybe I'll catch them in one of the timeouts. We mentioned what the Lady Cardinals did in their last game. In Paris's last game, they lost a little wide-open scoring game to Coastal Bend, losing 101-93. to Wow. Now, there are three conference wins that they have are against Panola, Tyler, and Jacksonville. So there's a little bit of fire in this Paris team, and they've beaten Tyler at Tyler. Yeah, that is something in itself, just beating Tyler, but then doing it on uh, their home floor at Wagstaff Gymnasium in Tyler. That that speaks volumes. So it'll be interesting to see how they uh, come out tonight. Not a lot of schools do that. That's that's for sure. It's uh, it's not a uh, gimme for for real reasons that, that we've talked about before. A great right. program there. The Lady Cardinals are averaging or shooting 42.2% from the floor. Paris is shooting 39.7 from the free throw line. The Lady Cardinals, and we've seen this average going up this season, Tim, is hitting 68.4. They started off around the 62-point range when the season started this year. Paris is shooting at 60.8. Now, here's for three-point range. Listen to this. The Lady Cardinals are hitting 32.9, averaging six a game. Paris is shooting 21.3%, averaging 2.9 a game. Yeah, it has been a steady, you know, you're going back to the uh, the, the free throws and what that, that has looked like. They've steadily improved over that. So threes will be an item tonight as well. We're about to have the pregame ceremonies. We'll turn it over to the public dress announcer, and we'll be back with you on the other side of the starting lineups. With the playing of our national anthem. Introducing the starting lineup for the Paris College Lady Dragons from Memphis, Tennessee, number zero, Michaela House. House is averaging 17 points a game this season. She's the top scorer for the Lady Dragons. Walters. Walters is averaging 7.7 .7 points a game. Summers is averaging nine points a game, and she's hit 14 three-pointers. Eddie Dragons were coached by Brittany Christen in her third season at Paris Junior College. Lady Mwamba is averaging 19.9 points a game, and Tim, she's the fifth leading scorer in the nation. Boy, she's been fun to watch. Kennedy Davis is averaging 8.2. She's got 25 three-pointers, hitting six, eight the other night. Sanderlin is averaging 16.6 .6 a game. She's got six three-pointers. 
Brianna Baxter is averaging 10.4 points a game and 6.3 rebounds. And Maddie Bush is averaging 7.1 points, 5.3 rebounds, and she's got six three-pointers. Lady Carners are coached with Fresh Sabi in her fifth year with an overall record of 114 and 14. Folks, it is a beautiful Wednesday night in Athens, Texas. It is Region 14 Conference Women's Basketball. It is Trinity Valley. It is Paris. And with the play-by-play, -play, it is Tim Howard. Thank you, Benny Rogers, ready for some exciting action tonight here. And uh, Trinity Valley trying to keep that uh, momentum going that they just came out on fire last week, never looked back. Huge stretch of games coming up for the Lady Cardinals. They've got Paris at home tonight. They go to Blinn Saturday, right. play Tyler here next Wednesday, and then have Angelina at home. Yeah, so two of the uh, three leaders in Region 14 over, over the next, and then you mentioned Tyler. They're always tough. So it's uh, it's go time. Yeah, it's time to really flip that switch into overdrive and see where it takes us. And uh, looking forward to tonight. In the circle, jumping for the Lady Cardinals will be Brianna Baxter, 5'11", sophomore out of Currens. Had a great season for the Lady Cardinals. House will jump for the Lady Dragons. Controlled by TVCC. Lady Cards, not about pushing it there, but uh, probably did the right thing. Just set it up, get a good, clean look here to start things out. Davis inbound to Baxter, nicely done. Perfect execution. Yeah, that, that's how you draw it up, and uh, you can't get a better result than that. Skip pass, and almost stolen by Baxter. And you see an aggressive start defensively by the Lady Cardinals. Having that one extra body on the bench makes a huge amount of difference. It really does, and uh, you know, if you're just tuning in, missed the pregame, we talked about the fact that the Lady Cardinals have eight players in the uh, dressed out tonight. They have not had that luxury <laughs> for several weeks. Uh, going on months. money. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, exactly. And back to that point, it seemed like two or three times they were having that look like what would look like that opportunity and a player would get injured before they could get that eighth one suited up in the next game. A little scoop underneath, not there for Sandlin. It's great to have her back on the court though. Sandlin in. Nice run on the other end as House gets down the floor and she'll tie it up. And you see how she's averaging 17 points a game. Kira, very aggressive in the paint. Sets it up. Kick out pass for three. Not there and loose ball foul. That's gonna be on uh, one of the Lady Dragons, I believe. It's gonna go against number 23 at zero of Bryant. So Trinity Valley keeping possession here. Go inbound underneath the Sanderlin. Over on the left side, Davis sets it up. Rolling a little motion. Sanderlin, shot. Sanderlin, bucket. Nice soft jump shot by the young lady. Well, that's just a nice addition right there. You Attica. see the confidence she's shooting with already just back into uh, playing action a couple of games back now. She really impressed me that a season over against Western Gulf in which the Lady Cardinals struggled early and then she got hot and April Edwards got hot. Caused her to readjust the shot, but already impressed by House with that. Just uh, Micaiah House out of Memphis, Tennessee getting the bucket there. Yeah, that 17 point scoring average is legit. Down low on the block, spin move, lost it in traffic. Now here come the Lady Dragons. Chance for his first lead, Paris. Out of control going to the basket. Wamba pulls it down. Wamba up and all the way the other direction. Oh <laughs> Crossover. She's fast with a faster dribbling the ball than most people running without the ball. Got Lindy only had six points in the win, in the win over Jacksonville. She only played around five minutes. They kind of gave her a breather since so she's been carrying the team much of the season in, in the tighter contest. That's oh, good good for her, uh, especially after, like you said, she's she's been toting the note. There's a foul down on the baseline. That's going to be on Bankster. Hattie Bush looked guilty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they call it on yeah, Brianna. She, the the, the uh, face gave it away. <laughs> So her first foul of the evening, 6-4, Trinity Valley up. Chance to tie it at the line. Walters. First free throw is good, and uh, 
Just had an official warning. Chris is picking up a warning this early on. I don't think she said much, but maybe it's not what she said, but the <laughs> what she said, uh, not how no, she said it, but what she, what said. she said. Well, I did hear an earshot. Oh, it's too early for that. <laughs> so six apiece here after the second free throw is good. Working around the uh, rotation now, Wamba pulls it up. Oh, got caught in between steps there. Yeah, kind of got caught in no man's land as April Edwards is going to check the contest for the first time, coming in to re replace Liddy. So on the floor, it'll be Johnson as well as Edwards, along with Baxter Davis. Harris looking for its first lead, and we're tied at six. To man to man. Oh, that's going to be a charge foul coming here. Charge all the way. Great job of Brianna Baxter drawing the charge. Young lady out of Currents, Texas, sophomore. Yeah, yeah Brianna knew that I'm going to pay the price for this, but stood in there and, and took it like a champ. Six apiece. Trinity Valley hosting Paris and the Lady Dragons. Thought about a three, now let's go. Not there, rebound taken by Paris. First three-pointer put up by the Lady Cardinals, missed by April Edwards. Walter showed a lot of athleticism just to pull that pass down right in front of us, Benny. Ball's coming. Credit what Paris doing on the defensive end though, Tim. They know the Lady Cardinals want to attack the goal and they're really packing that paint. Yeah, they are, and they're making it uh, extremely difficult to get it in. Shot gets the shooter's roll. So count the bucket for Bryant. Her first points of the contest. House, Walters, and Bryant all contributing here in the opening moments. Oh, had her stripped underneath Baxter. Looked like she was going to have a pretty clean look. Harris is 70 14 overall, Tim, but they did do beat Tyler, and that's what makes them legit. Yeah, they, they put it together here. Got a little loose on the pass. Nice job to track it down before it got into the Cardettes there. Harris is really responding on defense, filling in the passing lanes and moving real easily. Yeah, they're playing some, some tough D here. That's what's uh, catapulted them to a two point advantage, leading 8 6 at the 529 mark. KJ working down low to Mwamba. Now over to Bush. Mwamba, too easy. Oh, left it short. Boy, she would love to have a lot of opportunities like that. That's that's what you want. You don't see Liddy miss those opportunities very often. <laughs> Chance for Paris to build on its lead. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Knocked away. Here come the Lady Cards. Bounce pass off the knee. Tracked down by KJ there. Finding an open player down low and then uh, taking her to the ground. Edwards was tackled. I was about to say, Tim, the Lady Cards just need to settle down, play their game. We have a media timeout at the 450 mark. Parents of 8 6. You're watching Lady Cardinal Basketball on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Hey, welcome back. Cardinal Sports Network in our 15th season of bringing you Trinity Valley Sports. What a, a uh, opportunity tonight for the Cardinals as they uh, had that impressive win Saturday. Now a chance to build on that, Benny. No question about it. Of course, they're playing a little bit different animal tonight. Paris is a lot, lot tighter, a lot better than Jacksonville is. But one thing about that Jacksonville gym, Tim, it's always been a hard gym for the Lady Cardinals to score in because it's so tight. 
through the years, historically, the Lady Cardinals don't score well at that gym, but they did Saturday, but they didn't have any problems, 102 to 25. They took about six seasons worth of challenge and <laughs> put them into one ball game there. There's a nice baseline drive shot oh, and my. bucket. There was it. no room along the baseline. She just made room. She made her way all the way to the bucket uh, off the glass. It's good. So TVCC ties it up here into the paint. Got a block from Wamba underneath on the ground and kept alive. Good job there. I want to say that was not wasn't house number 50, gentle. Shot on the way, no good. Controlled by Bush. Let's just say the Lady Cards were challenged by Precious Ivy during that last time out. I, I don't, that's a good word. Challenge is a good word. I, I felt like I shouldn't be listening in, actually. It was, <laughs> it was a, uh, a challenge from the coach, getting them ready to go. Wamba on the drive, shot, and won't go. Offensive rebound, and then knocked away. He's actually passing to Brittany Ch Christian, the coach for uh, Paris, who's wearing a white top. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I thought she was was with us there. So uh, turnover on the Lady Cards, still eight apiece inside four minutes to go here in the opening period of play from Athens, Texas on a Wednesday the night. scoring pace very much in one that Paris would like. I was gonna say, this is more to their liking. But we both know the Lady Cardinals probably have got a run coming here somewhere. Trinity Valley averaging 80.3 per game. Three on the way from the Lady Dragons. Boy, that is just what the doctor ordered for Got Paris. The road, yeah. Man, oh man. Looked well short, took a big high hop and then rolls through. Drive on the other end, not gonna fall. And the Cardinals have missed several from point blank range. Yeah, I'm back to what you were talking about just a few moments ago. They they seem due for a run here, and we'll see how and when that comes. Keep that D alive, and usually good things transpire off of that. Bryant closed out there by Edwards. Three up top is good for number 10, Walters. Maddie Walters out of Paris, Texas. So this is a Paris team that come in average and making 2.9 three-pointers a game. So they're, they're, they get it in two average. possessions. <laughs> Edwards backs her down. Now looking for KJ. Maddie Curtis might have caught a break on that call there. Looked like it might have gone off KJ. Hey. Sanderlin back into the game. She comes on for Maddie Bush. 14-8 Paris, 2.41 left in the first quarter. Yeah, that was back-to-back -back threes have uh, helped there. So Trinity Valley needs a good possession here. It'll be Edwards to inbound. Top to KJ. Wamba thought about it, now delivers it and gets the result. Nice touch from Liddy Mwamba. It's Liddy's 29th three-pointer on the season, her first of the contest. She has five points. My goodness. Left her wide open, and they caught her. They were like, that's you, that's you. By the time she tried to get up there, she pops another three. That's three threes over the last three possessions for Paris. Time out on the floor. We'll step away more after this on the Cardinals Sports Network. Ah, crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's Spicy Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Order ahead on the app. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital. 2.16 to go here in the opening period of play. Lady Cards down by six after three back-to-back -back possessions, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back three-point possessions by Paris. There's a good drive and a take for two. Kennedy's got that little floater. That's her shot, folks. Yeah, she is something to behold with that. That is really kind of been the defining moment for her. Lady Cardinals have got a D up, though, Tim, outside the perimeter here. See what they do out of the timeout. Well, they better D up. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, there's a nice play from Baxter. Fought her way through, got the knockaway. And here comes Edwards with the scoop. She's going to go the foul line after being hit two free throws from April. 
Coming out of the timeout, you saw the defensive intensity increase from the Lady Cardinals' perspective on that defensive end there. Yeah, that is uh, exactly right. And and to your point, like you said, it better. <laughs> <laughs> and it does immediately results in a different a different opportunity. The turnover and then the fast break opportunity, almost a three-point play. First free throw on the way is good. So April at the stripe here. April with three points. Good start for her here in the uh, first. Second one on the way and uses every bit of it, but gets the same result. We saw April struggle a little bit from the free throw line early on this season. Her, her percentage has really increased as the season progresses. Fourth point of the evening for April and out, the way. Of, out of bounds off the Lady Dragons. Back to back turnovers now for Paris. Not the recipe to stay ahead in the, at Cardinal Gym. Yeah, Trinity Valley chance to take the lead with a three here. As uh, you look up, Mamba's leading the way for Trinity Valley with five. On the other side of the uh, ledger, it's Dozier. She's leading the way with six for the Lady Dragons. Paris has three three-pointers in the contest. The Lady Cardinals have one by Lady Mwamba. Got a screen up top. Now the give and go, oh. and the result is Baxter for two. Wamba with the assist. How many times this season have we seen Liddy and Brianna work that give and go like that? And they've got the special connection. That's a three-point opportunity. Yep, as House will deliver. So, Micaiah House averaging 17 a game. She's sitting there with her sixth here in the first. Chance to get seven. Coming up on a minute left in the third quarter. Misses the free throw, however, and pulled, rebound is pulled by Brianna Baxter. That's a, a good miss for Trinity Valley here. A chance to tie it or take the lead with a three. Going left side. Now coming back, Edwards steps into a three. Gets the money to pop. Well, you described that beautifully, Tim. She did step into that perfectly. So Trinity Valley back with a one-point lead inside a minute to go. Lost her. Lost her balance there. I don't know if she hit a soft spot. Going to be a <laughs> foul on Edwards. That's a tough call there. So April picking up her second foul. Seven points here in the uh, first quarter of play for April Edwards after she just hit that three-pointer. I was starting to think they were going to let her have two free throws. So she was no way in the heck shooting. Yeah, exactly. So they all inbound underneath with Dozier doing the honors. Baseline drive, a foul coming here. I believe they're going to get Maddie Bush. Yeah, she hacked her. So two free throws coming with 28.1 left in the first quarter. Trinity Valley coming in off the heels of that win over Jacksonville last Saturday. Currently in the four spot behind Angelina Kilgore and Blinn. Zachary Summers at the free throw line is taking a beating this trip down. <laughs> <laughs> Rattles off the cylinder and chance to tie it here, but they could have took the lead. So Trinity Valley should be in good position here. Missed them both. They've now missed three in a row, but they let them get an offensive rebound. And a second. Right, you just can't let them out. Rebound you down right in the floor. So now Paris will have a chance to almost take it all the way down. About a second difference, second and a half difference in the shot clock and the game clock. Three up top. Three for number two, Burks. Three on the clock. Had it trapped on her hip, and they won't get a shot away. So it's 22 20 at the end of one. TVCC trailing Paris. We'll be back with a second right after this on the Cardinal Sports Network.
Welcome back to Leon Fisher Court of Historic Cardinal Gym. We are just ending, we're about to go into the second quarter with Paris up by 22 to 20 count over the 13th ranked Lady Cardinals. Paris came in with a 7 and 14 record on the season, 3 and 4 in conference. Lady Cardinals 14 and 5 overall, and 4 and 3 in conference play. But Tim, somebody forgot to tell Paris. Yeah, at, at Paris said, hey, we're going to make a couple hour drive over here. We're going to bring our uh, intensity in there. They played well to start this thing. Well, Paris has conference wins over Panola, Tyler, and Jacksonville. And Panola has beaten Tyler, and then Paris has beaten Tyler this season. Yeah, so it's definitely, like you said, they're legit. They've got a, uh, and they've really started figuring it out. You can see why. They're shooting that ball with a lot of confidence. And as much as, much as we've made of the Lady Cardinals and having seven players most of the season, that's what Paris is playing with tonight, folks. Yeah, they're playing with a short hand as well. And yeah, uh, just bringing all kind of firepower out there. We'll see how that impacts them as this uh, evening goes along. I just thought it was a disappointing last three minutes of the th second quarter the way the Lady Cardinals performed. Got to do a lot better on the uh, defensive end for sure. Out-rebounded on that last position. So back to action. Paris trying to build. They've got that two-point advantage. Thought about a three. Dozier will now set it up. House pulls up. Not there. Loose ball picked up again. Finally, Baxter controlled it. Thought they were going to get their fourth offensive yeah, rebound in the last. Out hustling the Lady Cardinals, and you don't say that very often about a Lady Cardinal team. No, you don't. So that's a great effort from the Lady Dragons. Bush gives way to KJ. The running one-hander not there. This is it very rarely. A little too much there. But great look at the basket. See if they can get back to that again with that motion. A little work around the left side. Nine minutes to go here in the first half. Play. Oh, too easy. She missed the layup, though. Mamba got tangled up. Now an easy bucket on the other end. Yep, she does get it. Coach Brittany Christian working the officials there. She wanted a foul, and uh, she she probably had an axe to grind. Nice job of Maddie Bush reading what was the pairs was going to sleep on defense and getting down the floor. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. Yeah, that was a great, uh, great court awareness. Now offensive foul. And with a tie ball game here, House now picks up the offensive foul. Parrish has four players on the floor with one foul each. And we've talked about this being in the same scenario most of the season. You can't afford to get into foul trouble. You got a seven player roster. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that tonight. We know how the other half lives. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't like that half, uh, by the way, having to live like that just between you and I. Nor does anyone else has had to. Here's a nice pull up. That is a money shot there from Kennedy Davis. Yeah, Kennedy pulled up, really shot that very confidently, man. You got the Lady Cardinals that have seven players who scored. That's great. You love seeing that. All seven, only seven players have checked in. Bounced it off her left toe, off the baseline and out of bounds. So TVCC chance to continue to work on this lead. But again, it starts on the defensive end. Now, that was an unforced error. Granted, she just dribbled the ball off her foot. But still, you were in, in, in position to make a play. So, 7.45 to go. First half of play. 24-22. TVCC trying to work it down to Mwamba. Now they'll go across to Davis. Not quite there, but an offensive rebound from Mwamba. Another crack at it. Okay, I'll take another shot. And she gets the money ball to fall. Kennedy now with five points in the contest. What Lady a, cards with three three-pointers. That was a great recovery after the uh, initial offensive rebound. Shooting the ball with great confidence. Here comes a foul. I believe this will be... She'll go against Bree Baxter. Yeah, Bree, and she's going to pick up her second. That's going to bring Kiara Sanderlin back into the contest. It's good to have Kira back on the floor. I know I've said that a couple of times already, but it really is because she was really got off to a good start this season before well, she went down with an injury out in Midland. Yeah, and you, you've probably got about four more of those in you before the show's over tonight. I mean, because <laughs> I'm I'm with you, man. What a what a excellent not only body to be on the floor, but just a talent that's that's able to come back. So so glad to have her back. Baseline block from Sanderlin. Getting it done. 
All ball comes up from behind and gets the delivery. Kier is a 5'9 sophomore out of Converse, Texas. So Trinity Valley is pulled up by five now. If they can get a stop here, that would really put some pressure on the Lady Dragons. Good take inside, though. Nice delivery from Summers. The Summers came through for the Lady Dragons there. Zacharia Summers. Wamba on the other end. Not going to get the three-point opportunity, but will go to the free throw line. Maybe struggling from point, point blank range tonight. Yeah, that's that's just been a, a tough go for her here. We saw her have that stretch and when she scored 36, 30, 29, and 30 points in three straight games, and the, we kind of, kind of have come to expect that. So the free throw on the way and misses off the front lip. She's averaging 19.9 points, as I mentioned when they announced her for the starting lineup. She's the fifth leading scorer in the nation. And she's she's a true talent and gets one of two on that trip. Emerge yeah. from a role player last year in that team of sophomores the Lady Cardinals had to being a team leader this year. Exactly. And that was way too easy. Yeah, Lady Cardinals was not defending the goal. To the Lady Dragons' credit, they saw the spot, raced to it, and took advantage of it. If you take a night off defensively, you better be on offensively. Exactly. Or you have about a struggle on your hands. Exactly. Good take inside, foul, and one, as it will be Davis with the bucket. And now the uh, three-point opportunity coming for Kennedy Davis. 5'7", freshman out of Brandon, Mississippi. So see how she... Uh, does at the stripe here with 6.16 to go. There's a good look at it. See her, got her on the right arm, but could not stop that shot. Connects on the free throw, and it's a three-point play and a five-point Trinity Valley lead. She's the leading Lady Cardinal score with eight points. Five-point Lady Cardinal lead. Six minutes to go in first half. Good D that time and almost got the shot to fall. KJ on the push, coming right side to Davis, back to Mwamba. One it's pass. okay to be selfish sometimes. I know I say that a lot, but it is okay to be selfish. Yeah, that was not the play there as they, oh man, a missed opportunity. I was going to say it's a four-point swing, but they missed their chance. Now the Lady Cards with a pretty good opportunity up five. Yeah, Mwamba tried to force that ball a couple of uh, moments ago and now, let's see what she does. Lost possession out with the left. Here Too comes much dribbling. Walters. Oh, it's going to be a charge. No oh. doubt about that. KJ set up perfectly for that. Goes up with the right forearm and takes her hard to the floor. That's two fouls now on both uh, House yes. and Dozier. And now that's a third on Burks as well, or, or second on Burks. So there's three Lady Dragons with two fouls each. It affects you, Tim. It just does it. it mentally, it affects you. Yeah, you still got five minutes to go here in the first half. So I expect Trinity Valley to really try and bear down there and pick up that third on one of those. Only two players on the floor with it now. Nice move, KJ. Oh, she, she set that up perfectly with the dribble. Yeah, she dribbles and then just explodes. Count like quickness there from KJ out of Dallas. Critical juncture of the game here for Paris, I think. Yeah, they're down seven, and it could get away from them real quick if they're not careful. Lady Cards working defensively. This will be a two. Not there. Lady Cards are going to sleep on the boards. Yeah, and it looked like Sanderlin had pretty good position on our player, but she was riding uh the defender was riding her so she didn't have a way to get up on it the other ball just scoots right back under to a lady dragon for two that's the media so timeout with 427 to go it's five point lead for trinity valley you're seeing it here on the cardinal sports network welcome back trinity valley athletes Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. 
Welcome back to Leon Fisher Court, a historic Cardinal gym on the Cardinal Sports Network. 427 left in the first half. The Lady Cardinals up 33 to 28. And we just saw a performance by the defending champion, two-time defending national champion, small co-ed division, Cardinal cheerleaders, and they'll be going to the Tunnel Beach trying to win the 15th national title here in a couple of months, Tim. Man, they are so much fun to watch, and they, they make it look super easy. Now, I, that's going on on the floor. I'm looking at the uh, ad. Uh, of the hospital ad there, thinking that's that's more my speed. The elbow, <laughs> the wrist, the knee. Uh, but how about this Lady Cardinal bounce back here? They're up five with 427 to go. Well, we saw them play with a little, lot more energy to start the, th the second quarter as opposed to the way the first, first quarter ended, and that made a big difference in the game. Now they needed to D up here and try to build on a five-point lead going into the halftime locker room. So here we go back to action. They'll work it around the perimeter. Couple of times working hard down in the paint there. I think the Lady Cardinals still need to shore up with the rebounding on the defensive end. I'm telling you, gentle in the paint is anything but. She is a force down low for Paris. They always shoot over the top, the three not there. And out of bounds, last touch by Paris. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, credit KJ Kennedy Johnson with getting that possession for the Lady Cardinals because she put a hand on number two. Hope her birch and kept her from getting to the ball for Paris. Tried to throw back, but no one was there. A no, good. A no look pass to no one. <laughs> that, that gives no look a whole new meaning to me. The no look to no one. So they, a push they, though underneath them. They get bailed out by drawing a foul. It's a second foul now on number 10, Madison Walters. So there are now four Lady Dragons with two. Of course, at this point, uh, Coach Christian's like, you know what? Hey, we, we've, we've, We've dealt with this. We, yeah. We're, we're going to have to just battle and go because you don't sneak in here and, and not be aggressive. It's not like the first time they played with seven players this season. They've been playing the last couple, two or three games I know of with seven players. Yeah, that is a, a tough road to hoe. So here's the first free throw is good. It's a six-point lead. And gets that one to roll. So a seven-point advantage for the Lady Cardinals. Kennedy now with six points in the game. Five team fouls against uh, Paris. The Lady Cardinals will be shooting the double bonus the rest of the way. Just one team foul against the Lady Cardinals in this quarter. Good entry level pass. Knows how to get the most out of it, but missing the shot. Ball's finally picked up, but lost immediately as the Lady Dragons scamper over and knock it away. That is last touched by Gentle. Lauren Gentle down low. Trinity Valley will have possession here with a chance to make it a 10 point lead with a three. I'd love to see it. The power of positive thinking on Tim Howard's part. Well, that's, that's about the only positives going on <laughs> with me right now. Still thinking about that uh, hospital a few moments ago. See what they do here, a little motion. Would not be surprised if they work it over to Bush up top for a three. Eight on the clock. Going all the way to the glass. Tapped around. Still four on the clock. Going to have to hurry. Shot is good. Oh, Tapped my goodness. Basket. Oh, my goodness. So as she hits the free throw, just like I said, a three. <laughs> not quite what I had in mind, but still the same result. So see how... Uh, she does here. She's got nine points on the evening already. Talking of April Edwards. Yeah, she's the leading scorer for the Lady Cardinals. Coming average at 16.9. So April now in double digits and gives Trinity Valley a 10-point lead. Wow. Just, just like that, Tim. Yeah, it's it's a boy, they're so much fun to watch. They're, they're but you explosive. Can't, you, can't, you can't get lax on defense down here at all. Yeah, you got to keep that pressure coming and we'll because we're going to see the Lady Dragons sure battle. That's that's what they've been doing the last few weeks. That missing, but another offensive rebound. That was a long board, so. Uh, Hard nice. to falter for that. Yeah. Drive, shot, not there. House fights for the loose ball. and going to get a whistle and a foul on her. It's going to be her third personal foul against Micaiah House. She averages 17 points a game for the Lady Dragons. She just checks back on the floor, looks over at uh, Coach Christian and is like, Hands to the side. Well, Precious Ivy can relate to what Brittany Christian is going through on the other end. Exactly here is you. <laughs> there are not many options. Man, it's it's a tough, tough spot to be in. Not not much room to work. I kind of described it early on for Coach Precious Ivy as like the largest mathematical equation of the semester. Just you know X's and O's, and how do you 
uh, it kept things moving. But they found a way to navigate it now back with eight players, which seems like an, an uh, abundance of riches, an embarrassment of riches, if you will. Two for two at the stripe for Davis. So she's now got 10. It's a 12 point ball game here. Final 225 to go. Ah, oh, you really got to be careful if you're Paris because you give away a couple of quick baskets and you're at 15 points, almost tapped away. And now a foul coming here on Kiara Sanderlin. Yeah, she got in position, but then just a little bit got too active with the hands. Yeah, Kiara got a little. Of course, the Lady Cardinals have got to take care of business here tonight, but Tim, they got a huge, huge game on Saturday when they go down to Brenham to take on the Lynn College Lady Buccaneers in a big contest. Yeah, Blinn coming in at 5-2 and two in Region 14. Yeah, uh, they're... And Blinn beat the Lady Cardinals the first time around 64-62 here at Cardinal Gym. You know, it was a great ball game. That would have been a that would have been a fun one to take in if you missed it. Go back on the archives and check it out. Shot not there. Good defense. That's a shot clock violation. So Trinity Valley. Lady Cardinals are wanting to run. <laughs> well, yeah, they are. They're... They're stacking it up here as they're now up 12 with a minute 51 to go. Want a good possession here, get a good look, burn a little clock. Go ahead and call it out, Benny. Get another three-pointer. That have worked while I go. I'd be, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> so a minute 45 to go, 25 on the shot clock. See what they like to do. Going down low. Now, now going to get her for an extra step. Kind of <laughs> lost her balance inside. So April Edwards gone for the travel. Not exactly the way they drew it up, I'm sure. Minute 38 to go. Paris needs something positive to finish this first half with, and a three-pointer would look just fine for the Lady Dragons. Shot on the way, high off the back of the rim. So Sanderlin turns, she comes up the floor. After pulling down the rebound, skip pass over on the way. Davis not getting it. Edwards on the offensive rebound. Backing her down, April. Head fake, dish off, and a bucket, and one opportunity. Oh. As Kennedy Davis will get the bucket. Now a chance to add to that. Kennedy's had a nice ball game herself. She's got 10. Well, talking about that, she's coming off a 26-point performance against Jacksonville. So her and April Edwards both in double digits. Well, that gives her 12 now. I spoke too soon. They hadn't put the new points on the board yet, so a chance to make a 15-point lead. And that rolls off the cylinder, so no good. Less than a minute to go in the first half. 42-28, Trinity Valley in the driver's seat here. Puts her head down, drives, and doesn't get the result. It's Sanderlin rebounding, and here she comes up the floor, running right up the hills. And then, wow, they're, they had an opportunity there. Well, bodies flying all over the place. 23, that's going to be on Bush. Maddie Bush is going to be called for the uh, foul. Yeah, Maddie. It's going to be her second, team third. So 34.4, 27 on the shot clock. Yeah. Offensive foul coming here. I didn't see it. Ben Harris can ill afford this. It's going to be on number 23 in green, which is Zariah Bryant. That's her second, but boy, those little ticky-tack fouls like that on the offensive end, just uh, when you're not defending, add up. Yeah, you, you've already got a team that's sitting at two apiece. That's at least four players with two fouls. So they've kind of weathered the storm, though. No one picked up that third one here in the first half. I thought for sure at the five, six minute mark there would be somebody in that point. But Trinity Valley holding for the final shot. They'll put the offense in motion at 12 seconds. Corner shot for three. Not there. Mwamba is going to pick up a foul. Reaching around Bryant. So with 6.2 to go. Yeah, they won't cost them, though, in terms of free throws, though. That's just a fourth team foul against the Lady Cardinals. Of course, you don't like to foul up 94 feet away from the goal. Exactly, exactly. So here's... But, but think about how much lack of pressure there is with Liddy picking up that foul as opposed to when they just got seven players suited up. 
Exactly. That's a great, great point. So the, now the uh, shot off the front cylinder, it's going to be 14-point advantage. It will be a 14-point advantage for Trinity Valley at the break. 42-28. Talk a little bit about uh, the things that you've noticed about this TBCC led to card scene. Well, the big stat in that second quarter is Tim Lady Cardinals outscored Paris 22-6. to six. So the yeah. defense got on the boards and did a good job of shutting down the Lady Dragons and building that 42-28 to 28 halftime lead here on the Cardinals Sports Network. Lady Cardinals led in the first half by Kennedy Davis with 12. April Edwards had 10. And Liddy Mwamba and Kennedy Johnson had six each. And we'll join you on the other side. Folks, you're watching Lady Cardinal Basketball and the Cardinal Sports Network on a Wednesday night from Leon Smith Court at Historic Cardinal Gym. A quality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. I was a runner. I was up to running three miles a day every morning. When I was diagnosed with lung cancer, I was shocked because I'm not a smoker. Baylor, Scott and White, the facility, the staff, everyone has been so amazing. I love, love the fact that I can breathe. When I first heard that I had cancer, I was referred to Baylor, Scott and White immediately. It was really important for me to be able to get my chemotherapy and everything here because I wanted to be close to my friends, my family. They were so confident and made me feel at ease and supported me. I felt like I was their only patient and I knew they had several people that they were dealing with, but I was the most important person. I had like a week of headaches. Throughout that week, I went to my local hospital. They referred me to Baylor Scott and White. They gave me an MRI. The tumor that was inside of my head was cancer. Baylor Scott and White has given me this new technology that helps decrease the growth rate of my cancer cells. The doctor I have right now, he's just amazing. It's a great feeling to know the guy who's taking care of me actually really cares about me. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing cancer care for life. From a work perspective, what am I most thankful for? I'm thankful for working with a great team. I'm thankful for working for a company that's faith-based, and I'm truly thankful to be able to take time to pray with my patients if they need it. Having a good team to work with, and a great, all, all my supplies are there. I got equipment if I need it, and it helps at a phone call away if I need that as well. I've never had a time where I didn't feel like that. I couldn't get what I needed to do my job. We work together as a team here at Baylor, and I really appreciate that. I'm thankful that I have the ability to work, the physical ability, the mental ability. I think every day that I walk into the pharmacy, everybody greets me as soon as I walk in the door. And it's a small gesture, but it goes a long way, and it starts your day off right. I do feel like I'm fulfilling my calling, even if it's you know, the last job that I have. I'm thankful for God leading me here to work. I feel like I am growing into a much better nurse, and I've been a nurse for a long time. When I go home at the end of each shift, whether I had a bad day or a good day, I'm ready to come back to work the next morning. And I know a lot of nurses, unfortunately, don't get to feel that way about their job, but this is how we feel here, and it's not just me, it's everybody around me. My team, they welcome me and respect me, my differences, my culture and I don't feel isolated when I'm with them. They welcome my ideas, you know, they're always there for me. We see people, a lot of brokenness, you know, physical, emotional, come through rehab, um, but just, walk, just walking beside them in this and being able to help them get better, to see the outcomes of it is just, it's really rewarding. I mean, I'm so grateful for Baylor, really. I love it here. Baylor is a very good place to work for, it's different. I've worked at other larger hospitals and I would never go anywhere else. I'm thankful for what I do. I'm thankful for the patients that we take care of. Uh, I'm thankful for my calling, my ministry, you know, is helping those who can't help themselves, being there for them. 
So I'm thankful for all that I can do for someone else who can't do for themselves. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer, from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And welcome back to Leon's Mr. Corda Historic Cardinal Gym on the campus of Athens, Texas of Trinity Valley Community College. Lady Cardinals up 42-28 at halftime. The Lady Cardinals went on a 9-0 run in the final 4-27 to take a 14-point lead into the halftime with 2-23 left in the opening quarter. The Lady Cardinals were down 17-11. They've completely turned it around since then on the defensive end and getting on the boards. I'm Benny Rogers along with Tim Howard. Tim is to bring you back in here. It's a game maybe the Lady Cardinals came in maybe not expecting much of a challenge from Paris is the impression I kind of got. But then when Paris kind of hit him in the face, so to speak, the Lady Cardinals responded. Yeah, they did. They came out a uh, little, little less than inspired. I don't want to say less than inspired, but not playing their best basketball of the year. I'll put it that way. But uh, they did answer the bell after kind of getting uh, pushed around a little bit on the boards, quite honestly. Lady Dragons 
came aggressive. They got offensive boards and were just hustling to the loose balls. Trinity Valley has bounced back, though, and they're up by 14 here uh, in the going into the third. If you're just now joining us, well, where the heck you been? I like to ask that question about once a week. So we were, we're glad you did finally join us, though. But here's what you missed. The first half, the Lady Cardinals have eight players suited up tonight, which is a first time in about... Oh, forever? <laughs> I, I would, it's, it's the first time in 24. Since, since November. <laughs> it's the first time since November they've had more eight or more players suited up. Paris, on the other hand, has seven. And Paris does have a little bit of foul trouble looking at Lumina in the second half, Tim. Yeah, you got four players uh, with at least two fouls or more for the uh, Lady Dragons. So we'll we'll keep an eye on that. If, if you uh, get into any kind of... Foul trouble, too. A couple of quick fouls. You're you're going to be uh, really shorthanded down the stretch. Lady Carters were led by Kennedy Davis in the first half with 12 points, and she's coming off a 26-point performance in which she hit eight three-pointers in the 102-25 win over Jacksonville. April Edwards had 10 points, including a three-pointer. By the way, Diddy Mwamba, Kennedy Davis, and April all had one three-pointer each. And by the way, Paris who had four three-pointers in that first half, or this game could really, really be out of hand. Yeah, they hit three of them in back-to-back-to-back -back -back succession. So it was uh, it was all the Lady Dragons for just a few moments here. Trinity Valley said, okay, that's enough of that. Let's uh, let's get some of our own threes going. And as we mentioned, Lady, the Lady Dragons may be 7-14 overall, 3-4 and four in conference play, but they do have wins over Panola, Tyler, and Jacksonville to their credit. Yeah, they have, they, they're they a very experienced team. You know, as you talk about those are quality wins in this conference. And then just uh, this time of the year, you know, you almost are ready to, to wipe away that freshman tag because you've been playing long enough now that you realize the speed of the game, you realize what's necessary and, and you've, you've kind of woke up. So they, they have played a, a tough year themselves and they're a quality program over there. And we mentioned Lady Carter start a tough stretch of games after this one tonight if they get by this one tonight in good fashion because they play at Blinn on Saturday, play Tyler here next uh, Wednesday, and then play Angelina here next Saturday. So it's a big three-game stretch Lady Cardinals have coming up in a game. And you, Tim, you really think that they need to win all three, but you want to get two out of the three since two out of the three are at home anyway. Yeah, you really do. you got to protect that home court uh, environment and, then, you know, get a little greedy, take it uh, – on the road, and quite honestly, you're going to need some of that because they're uh, looking up, which is so unlike Trinity Valley. They're sitting at fourth currently. As we, we, head to the, we head to the second half, and we head to Tim Howard for the call. Thank you, Benny Rogers, and a stoppage of play before we start. So is, is that even possible, stoppage before the start? A little <laughs> wet spot out there, and um, we're about to see the second half. I, I want to get your thoughts, though. We, we had that little contest going at halftime. Yeah, they've got a thing going here where a student can shoot for a scholarship in the next semester if she hits a, he or she hits a layup, a free throw, three-point shot, and half-court shot. And for the last two times we've seen that contest, the, the student has gotten to the half-court shot with over 30 seconds left. Yeah, with 30 <laughs> seconds, she had a lot of heaves over half court, and, and there were some of them that were really close. This place was uh, about as loud as it's been all night. Lady Look, Gardner's turning over on their first trip. Not what they wanted. A, a uh, And Parrish returns the favor. Like, we got you. Let me let me give it right back. Yeah, Lady Cards had an unfortunate uh, little backcourt violation to start things off, and then the quick turnover by the Lady Dragons. So... Nine seconds gone by here in the uh, third, and we've already had two turn rows. Nothing to show for anything. <laughs> here come the cards on the floor. Davis working it to Wamba. Now Maddie Bush. You got Sanderlin, and you've also got Baxter. Catching it down low. Whoa. Talk about catching it. Caught it in the chops. Wow. There's, no, there's tight quarters there to make that pass, and yet she made a pretty good pass. Here's a uh, opportunity for the Lady Dragons. They're going to need stops here. Yeah, back-to-back -back turnovers for the Lady Cardinals to start the second half, not the way you draw it up. Very methodical here uh, inside 10. I think a lot of that has to do with the tenacious D of the Lady Cards. Shot not there. Pulled down by Mwamba. Trinity Valley with the possession after the uh, miss. Wamba hasn't had a huge game uh, 
on the point side, but she's pulling down rebounds and gotten several assists here in the early going. That's been very effective on that part of it. Drive with the left hand, nicely done by Kiara Sanderlin. She's now got four in the game. For Kiara. She had 20 against Jacksonville. Yeah, she's, she's really making her presence known since she's been able to get back on the floor following a very long, lengthy injury. Shot is short. Lily that, pulls another rebound. Mamba with the rebound. Sanderlin actually impacted that shot in a way that uh, they were able to force a miss. Here's a three on the way. Mamba's not there. Sanderlin with the offensive rebound. The putback, not there, and then it is. It falls through. Can I mention how nice it is to have Kira Sanderlin back in the contest? Is I think you've got four more left. I mean, that's four <laughs> times, but you still got four. No, you, you can't say it enough, can you? I mean, it's, it's, she's just been a quality, quality add-on. She's a difference maker. Looking around the perimeter of the three is, boy, the net barely even moved. Barely. Dozier showing her skills. Big three-pointer for the Lady Dragons to pull within 15. 7.30 to go here in the third. 15-point lead. That's after the three. You mentioned that three. Five three-pointers now for uh, Paris. Kira measuring, shooting. Thought she was going to have a chance for a three-point play. How about that touch? Goodness. I'm not going to say it, but it's great to have her back. <laughs> she's, she's. I'm saying it for all 75 people sitting right around us. They're all thinking the same. Well, it's great to have her back. Shot on the way, not there. Oh, lost her footing on the way back. Sanderlin with the rebound. Pulls it up the floor, now cross over. And a foul coming on Brianna Baxter. Yeah, Bree trying to set a pick. Got to get there and set quick enough. So that'll be her third foul. Which doesn't bring near the panic that it would have otherwise if, if we didn't have eight players suited up. Yeah, it's, it's a... And the seven who played have all scored, Tim. Exactly. They have all had offensive moments, and uh, it's great to see that. And great to know that, hey, you can afford to pick up a foul and not have to sweat, not have to really, you know, we got Baxter able to stay in the ball game with three balls loose. Going to be picked up by KJ, and she's going to take it all the way up with the left. It's good. KJ with eight points. 19 point ball game. Trinity Valley. A little foul coming. That's going to be against Liddy. That's going to be her second personal foul. Second team foul. So Wamba now picking up her second. 15. Baxter will take a seat. Kennedy Davis coming on for Brianna. It's a 19-point ball game here at Trinity Valley. Trying to pull away from the Lady Dragons, or they have pulled away, but Still a lot of time left in this six, uh, at the six distance, minute mark. There's more distance they seek, Tim. 50-31. Trinity Valley is averaging 83 or 80.3 a game. What took one on the cheek there. Well, Jenna did a great job of creating space. <laughs> uh, she's, she's been creating some space all night, I'm telling you. She is something else down low. Lauren Gentle. Clearing it out down there. In the paint goes KJ. Oh, look like she lost it going up. A lot of contact. Good stop by the Paris Lady Dragons, though. 5.22 to go here in the third. Baseline drive shot and no good foul coming. She'll have to earn it at the free throw line. Not sure who they're going to get on this. That's actually going to be on Maddie Bush. So that'll be her third foul. Yeah, going back to what we were just talking about here, all kinds of panic starts setting in as we hit those three fouls without that eight player but now you you do start to think about it a little bit more you got a couple of players with three it's a long way to go in the third Paris not helping itself with free throws of course they come in averaging 60.8 which is not very good for her, to be honest with you Tim yeah six out of ten 
know there's a, not much difference between that and 7 of 10, but it really does add up over the course of the game. He can really hamper you as uh, she'll go one of two there. Approaching the five-minute mark with a 16-point lead here in the third. Lady Cardinals lead by 12 at halftime, 42 to 28. Gives way to Edwards. Pass underneath, and Wamba's shot not there. Rebound, fought for, pulled down by Sanderlin. Kira going to clear it out. KJ finding, oh, knocked away from Bush. Attacks the basket, gets the bucket, and it's a 14-point game. Lady Dragons aren't going away quietly. Quickly down the floor, here comes the Lady Cards, and that's going to be a foul. Edwards will go to the free throw line. It's going to be on number 23, Azariah Bryant, her third foul. Media timeout. Got a media timeout here at the 444 mark. So we'll step away and come back on the other side after this brief timeout on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. 4.44 to go here in the third quarter. Trinity Valley came in at uh, the start of this up 42-28. It's an 8-8 standoff here this first four and a half minutes up there. So no harm, no foul. No, it's, it's, it's the, the pressure's on Paris to make a run at some point, but it doesn't have to be a big run. You can peck away put four points here, four points there. You don't have to get it all back at one time. Right, exactly. So at the free throw line for Trinity Valley, it will be April Edwards. April goes to the free throw line with 10 points in the contest. April's had a nice game tonight. She uh, really looked confident here in the first half. And try to see what she does here at the She's start. She's got three free throws. And right as I said that, <laughs> I'll take full credit for that one. My apologies, April. 4.44 left and uh, one of two at the, at the stripe. So up to a 15 point ball game. And the cards packing it in somewhat, working down. Gentle trying to clear space in the paint. You don't want to go to sleep along that three-point arc if you're the Lady Cardinals. Three-pointer on the way is good. Well, well designed there to get that three off without a defender. Six three-pointers for those Lady Dragons. That's a point lead. It's a big three. They needed it. A couple of times they've had a three that kind of pulled Trinity Valley back within striking distance. 15 on the shot clock to number 15. April, a little crossover jump stop in the paint. Not there. Mamba with a putback, though. She left it short. Well, Liddy's like over five for point blank range. Sanderlin tracking it down. That's just great energy. Now it gets by, it goes with the right, and a foul. Well, there was a period of time when Liddy, everything she put up went in, and now she's in that other end of the spectrum now. Yeah, it's, yeah I think might just be in a little bit in her head at, at some point here. Sometimes you start overthinking a little bit. That one is good. 52-39. She's got seven points now. So Liddy with seven. Two for two on the trip. So Paris has got to get some stops. They're going to have to hit some shots here, and they'll try to take advantage just by rolling it up the floor. They're going to take three-pointers every opportunity that gets. The Lady Colonels have got to be very cognizant of that. Yeah, they've had a had a nice strong night behind the arc. They only come in averaging two point, making two point nine, and they got six in this one, Tim. So they're well above their average. Got a foul away from the ball. It's an offensive foul. Wow. See, those just uh, Paris can't afford those. And it is going to be on Gentle. Yeah, Lauren Gentle, number fifty. She that's her second. Lauren is a uh, freshman out of Humble, Texas. 
3.33 left in the third. We've got House way away from the basket. Going right by her, putting it up in the end is Liddy Wamba. Now in double digits with 10. Yeah, taking that back-to-back -back possessions after the uh, free throw and then free throws and then that one there. Now a steal from KJ. She'll go all the way up and under to the left. It's good. Lady Cardinal basketball right there. 3.04 left in the third quarter. Should be 18 again, Tim. Now they're going to have to burn one and talk it over. Coach Brittany Christian says, oh, man, we got to get a good position here. So with a timeout on the floor, we'll take it with them. It's a media timeout here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Ah, crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. Order ahead on the app. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician owned Baylor Scott and White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital. Hey, welcome back. Trinity Valley in the driver's seat here, up 57 39 in the third quarter. Glad to have you along here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Benny, your thoughts out of half and how we've gotten here. Well, the Lady Cardinals got back in it, Tim, as the, uh, most Lady Cardinal runs are, are ignited by the, on the defensive end, and that's what we saw there. Yeah, exactly. And you saw a couple of those uh, fast break opportunities off of that defense. So. Trinity Valley moving things in the right direction here, up 18 inside three. All seven Lady Cardinals who have played in the game have scored, and four of them are in double digits now. So good uh, execution all the way around as TVCC has made the most of their moments here thus far. 14 on the shot clock, really denying the basketball. Good defense here all the time now. KJ with great defense out on the top. Three is short. Fight for the ball is going to be pulled down by KJ. Wamba is the benefactor of the pass and finish. She's got three possessions in a row with points. What about KJ, though, and her effort on that end? She put up the shot and went and got the rebound. Love it. And that's another uh, characteristic of KJ that we've been seeing more and more of her hustle and grit. Love it. 2.15 left in the third. The shot over the top. Not there. Bush will pull it down. Looked like Trinity Valley was wanting to run. April was out on the outlet, but had to come back and track it down. So 20-point contest. Wamba with 12. She's got four points. There's a flop. So, it better be because you called it early. Well, I might have, yeah. I might have should have waited for the official, but I, I brought my own whistle tonight. He can curve. He can curve. <laughs> uh, I mean, it. It almost looked like you were playing defensively. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But a 20 point ball game inside two to go here in the third. That's four fouls now on the leading scorer from, for the, the Lady Dragons on the season, Makaya House. Having yeah. 17 a game, she's got four fouls and goes to the bench. Yeah, that's a, that's a big foul there because she has been one of their dominant scorers night in and night out. Had a good ball game here tonight. Shot on the way, not there. Fight for the loose ball, good clear out. Oh, might have got an extra step. Harvey Carr with the rebound. Oh, and a foul coming here on April Edwards. April reaching, that'll be her third foul. Now, you can't fall for Lady Cardinals. They were being very aggressive. They thought they had a mismatch there, and they did. They just got a little bit too much contact. Baseline drive. Oh, take a loose extra step there. Sometimes you got to do that for takeoff. <laughs> she got the now, now clear for takeoff sign. Just forgot to dribble. <laughs> Minute 26 to go here in the third. It's on Trinity Valley. They have put up 17 points. Outscoring Paris 17-11 thus far. Left that one out there for the taking and uh, nice idea, poor execution. Yeah, Harvey Carr, Bryce Harvey Carr said, I'll 
picked out from you. Working it around the perimeter here. There's a three. They've been so, so powerful with that tonight, but didn't get that one, but did get the offensive rebound. Finally pulled down this time by Davis. KJ back to Kennedy. Put it down, Kennedy Davis. The freshman from Mississippi gets it done. 15 points in the game, two three-pointers. Nicely done. It looked like she took a little back half back step there. She knew she had it. She knocked it through. 27.8 to go. Boy, that was a great looking shot. 20 points, second quarter, third quarter now for the Lady Cardinals. So they scored 20, 22, and 20 here in the uh, contest. That's consistency that you can live with as a coach. Blocked by Sanderlin. They're going to get another possession out of the deal. KJ flying, dishing, and scoring. Get the assist to Kennedy Johnson. The bucket to Liddy Mwamba. She's got 14. It starts on the defensive end, Tim. And just Couldn't like that, they get the one contested lay <laughs> I was going to say, we've seen some great defense. Not so much on that possession. But you're right, the defense has lit it up at the buzzer. A Jim Howard shot, if I ever saw it. My goodness one. gracious, that does take me back. 64 <laughs> 41. Trinity Valley in the, in the uh, lead here as we get set for the fourth quarter. It's coming up after this. A step away and more on the Cardinal Sports Network coming up. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention might just be the prescription. Teaching is on the treatment plan. And everyone is always on the same team. Yours. Baylor Scott & White Health, changing healthcare for the better. Got a look there at the Cardettes that just uh, took us into the break there. Trinity Valley leading here 64-41 as we get set for the fourth quarter. Benny, your thoughts here is I know you're doing a little uh, peeking ahead at the schedule. Big, well, I have my thoughts while we're going to spend Valentine's Day together. We are going to be working Valentine's Day together. It's going to be a... I don't, I, Am I supposed to bring flowers? How does that work? <laughs> well, I think so. I'm My wife is probably going, you better bring flowers, but they better be coming to me. So, Lady we'll, Cardinals will be on the road Saturday going to Brenham, and they'll be home next Wednesday night to take on Tyler at 530 in the game we'll have for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network. This Saturday, we got a huge game Saturday, though, Tim. The Cardinals will be at home against Panola. Yeah, that's a huge that's, game, and that starts at 4 o'clock here at Cardinal Gym. If you can't make it out, folks, join us on the Cardinal Sports Network. Should be a dandy for sure. Back to action here as the uh, what defense just parted like the Red Sea there, and she <laughs> goes right to the basket. A couple of defenders went out on the perimeter, and that left it open inside. So 21-point game, Trinity Valley up big. Kara thought about pulling it, then thought wisely. I'll, I'll just be a little more patient here. A lot of time on the shot clock at that moment. Three from Wamba. Not there. Chased down and now out of bounds off of the Lady Cards. So it will be Lady Dragon basketball. Lady Cardinals were up 64-41 at the end of the third quarter. That was their biggest lead of the contest so thus far. Working the ball around the top of the circle there. Sanderlin going to be whistled for the foul. Kiara now picking up what will be her second foul of the ball game. Precious Ivy in her fifth year at the college, fifth year's head coach. She's won 14 and 14 coming in, played in a couple of national championship games. 21. How she doing, how's she doing so far? I think she's doing all right. I think she's doing <laughs> Thought about the three, then pulls down racing inside. Missed the shot. Wamba pulls it down. She's got must have around 10 re re rebounds now. Well, she's playing well underneath. Great pass inside. A foul coming here after a lot of contact underneath. It's going to be on Zachariah. 
Summers. That's her first personal foul. So Summers get on the board for the foul side. It'll be free throws coming here for Maddie Bush. Maddie with just two points in the contest. Still with just two points in the contest. Did not deliver there. Lady Carbons and that win over Jacksonville 10 were 16 and 31 from the three point range. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> that is a night. Goes one of two there, so it's a. You hope you don't use them all up in one I was, game. I was going <laughs> to say, that reminds me back in Little League. We weren't very good at a run, run scoring. One night we had one of them ball games. Our coach was like, fellas, let's save some for our next ball game. Because <laughs> we just weren't very good. I know it's hard for you to believe, Benny. Kennedy Davis with the takeaway. How about that defense, huh? Foul there on uh, number four. And that's her first personal foul. So Bryce Harvey Carr picking up her first foul of the contest at the 834 mark here in the ball game. She's probably in good shape the rest of the way. I think she's going to make it just fine. KJ, boy, she's so explosive. Maybe so too much that time. So she's got great, such great confidence in that runner, little floater that she shoots like that. Yeah, KJ was uh, on the way in the leaning tower of Pisa there as uh, she started to, to topple. Knocked out of bounds that time by Davis. Tim, since about the third quarter on, I really like the intensity in the Lady Cardinal defense. It's really made a difference in the contest after such a sluggish kind of start in the first quarter. Not start in the first quarter, but finish of the first quarter. Oh, boy, that, 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 I spoke too soon. that was just well executed. I mean, the play just developed perfectly there. She she had the opening to the basket, knew how to take advantage. But, yeah, you're right. Back to that thought. They, they have uh, looked 95% better on most trips defensively. Three on the way. Out there, rebound is going to be taken by Bush. Maddie will shoot the shot, <laughs> gets the delivery to fall. She looked around for better options and said there are none, and I'll just take it. Let me have that thing. I'll just keep it with me. Thank you. Lost her possession, and then off her right hand out of bounds. <laughs> off of Summers. <laughs> so Baxter's coming on. She'll check in for Sanderlin as will KJ sit. I got to put you on the spot here, Tim. Uh-oh. Super Bowl is Sunday. Who do you like? There's a game Sunday? There it is. Let's see. I think, is it going to be the old East Texan getting it done? I am i don't know, man. I, part of me is, I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Part of me is like, I want Mr. Irrelevant to do it. As much as I don't want San Fran to win, I would love to see Mr. Irrelevant. The last Brock Purdy is having a nice season for the person who selected your last in the draft. This season. Yeah, yeah. So I'd, I, how about you? Who do you like? I think the smart money goes on the Chiefs, but if, if the 49ers can muster just enough defense, they might can make it interesting and maybe have a chance of scoring in, in the fourth quarter. Does any does any of that have to do with your playlist and the, the fact that you're such a big Taylor Swift fan? <laughs> uh, sorry, I, anyone who knows me and Benny knows that's probably not 100% accurate. <laughs> not, not, not 100%. <laughs> Shot on the way. Not there. Oh, Maddie. Oh, man. It's not. That's her fourth personal foul. A little frustration there on her part. 7.20 to go. 67-45. 22-point Lady Cardinal lead. Don't want to get sluggish and careless now. So with the Lady Cards up in the uh, driver's seat, you, you've got to feel good about this. You've, you've also, there's a steal underneath, and Lady Cards will want to push it. All the way up and gets the shot to go, but a charge coming on April Edwards. So everything is a charge these days. Used to be that never was a charge call. Now everything is a charge. Well, it's the it's the sexy call, Benny. It's the, the one that you get. Everybody wants to know, get a I chance know, to make them. So it's a 22-point ball game here, 6.59 to go. Let's talk a little bit, though, about this Trinity Valley in good shape right here. But you mentioned they've got a, a pretty up, tough roll over the next three, two weeks. Well, they have to, you want to make sure you take care of business here, which looks yes. like they're going to unless they just fall asleep now. But, but the, the next three games are just huge, for, and they will define this season. Long three over the top. Nice touch. There's Mama closed down, and she made her earn that one. But uh, Dozier said, okay, I'm, I'm good with that. Put it through. 
Seven three-pointers now for the Lady Dragons. They came in averaging 2.9 and made a game. How much of that is predicated on, on the defense of, of Trinity Valley? Are they just getting a few extras, or are they designed, hey, we're going to have to hit more threes to have a shot at a team like this? Oh, no doubt. There's no doubt about that. But here's, and here's what, Tim, we're talking about the, the run. They pick out four points there, four points there, and they've got a chance here now to get – giving him 17 points. Yeah, so let's see. I mean, it's, it's still safe by the Lady Cardinals, but you just can't take things for granted in yeah. basketball. Exactly. It's a game of runs, and Paris on a nice one here. Now they're going to get a three-point opportunity. Yeah, it's as just like that. House gets the roll, and now the bucket. So the foul is going to be on uh, Brianna. That's Brianna. Her fourth. She. And, Tim, that's the 15th foul against the Lady Cardinals, so Parrish is shooting free throws the rest of the way. This is a shooting foul, yes, but they're shooting free throws the rest of the way at the 6.09 mark. That's a lot of opportunities to score potentially with the, stop, the clock stop. Yeah, that clock won't be moving on those free throws, so you can extend the game for sure that way. 16-point game. 16 game as uh, Brianna now playing with four fouls, and I think they're going to talk about it here at the 6.03 mark. We're going to take a timeout. We'll come back after this. It's a 16-point advantage. Trinity Valley over Paris here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher-to-student ratio of 1 to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach. We strive. We succeed. TVCC. It makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Well, here's what I learned during that timeout. Lady Cardinals need to go back to working because what they're doing right now is not working. Yeah, I heard that loud and clear, and I, I said yes, Coach, three times. Speaking I, of Coach, there's Coach, the Coach legend, Spencer. Coach Spencer, sitting there to your right. We're going to have Coach Spencer on with us here in a couple of weeks on the 24th against Kilgore. Me and we're going to have Coach Spencer on as our halftime guest. And maybe get to, maybe get to, we'll talk to him to send him some in the third quarter. Too. That'd be great. Love to have his uh, insight and uh, just chance to hear his thoughts on, you know, the, the guy's got his name on the court. How great is that? He can so, hang around as long as he wants to. Exactly. <laughs> so we're, we're looking forward to having, having him on the broadcast here in a couple of weeks. Got the fan cam out, everybody big smiles on their face and uh, and a chance to enjoy some fun here on a Wednesday night in Athens, Texas. Well, there weren't a lot of smiles in the Lady Cardinal timeout huddle that time. No, though. no, that was the only place that there wasn't a smile. <laughs> I felt like I was back in in uh, elementary school yeah, or not, junior high. It's not a good place for a kiss cam. <laughs> <laughs> in, immediately they go to work and battle for the loose ball. It's going to be picked up by the Lady Dragons. Shot is short, and that was just good defense by Johnson. Cutting in front of her, made her really have to connect on the steps and could not get the shot to fall. That's a little thing, but that is a, a, a big reason that that layup didn't go down. Absolutely. Baxter, or Sanderlin for three. Not there. Baxter with a rebound, and she'll draw a foul. She'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. 529 left. Lady Cardinals up 16. They led 64 41 going into this final quarter. And that'll be the fifth foul. I believe that's going to be on House. That's a blow for the Lady Dragons as she's the leading scorer on the season, averaging 17 points a game. Yeah, she'll sit down tonight picking up her fifth. Unofficially, they have her down for 11 points. The sophomore so, out of Memphis, Tennessee. Baxter at the free throw line gets that to fall. Brianna now with five points. Five for Brianna. Averaging 10.4 on the season. 5'11", sophomore at the free throw line. Goes two for two after Got the... Got a nice roll that time. Got that roll with confidence there. Off that back iron. Sanderlin almost got a strip. Now a foul travel out front. Thought they were going to get... saw how quickly she wanted to kick the ball out for a three-point shot. Yeah, that's definitely a, a design that Coach Brittany Christian has talked to our team about. We're going to have to make some 
make up some possessions here. Imani Jackson has checked into the contest with Lady Cardinals, playing in her first game this season. She played in 32 games last season with Lady Cardinals, started eight games, averaged 7.8 points a game, hit 38.3 point three from the floor, 36.4 from three-point range, and 70% from free throw range. Last year was a Lady Cardinals win and lost in the national title game in overtime to Northwest Florida State. Timeout on the floor here with 5.02 to go as TVCC is up 18 with Paris right here. You know, let, let's talk about the next. We'll keep it here for a 30-second timeout. Let's talk a little bit about what Trinity Valley has in store for them over the next couple, three weeks. Well, we mentioned Saturday's game is huge. they got to go down to Brenham to play Glenn. Glenn beat them 64-62 in a very hard-fought game here at Cardinal Gym, a game in which the Lady Cardinals fell behind and rallied and almost pulled it out at the end. Then they played Tyler here next Wednesday. They went to Tyler and beat Tyler 67-56, I think was the score the first time around. Yeah. Then they got the Angelina game, which they went down and fell behind by 26 points early in the game down in Lufkin and wound up losing the six late in the contest. I think it's it's going to be a, a fun team to watch on the rebound, rebound of that because that, again, was a shorthanded team. And they've been doing that. So. Absolutely. That's the key to the whole thing right there, Tim, is the, these teams are going to play the Lady Cardinals now. Yes, there's just one more player, but so back, it's a foul. back to action and a foul coming on Liddy Wamba. So Liddy will sit. That's our third foul of the night. Sometimes it's just hard to close a team out, Tim, when, you, when you get, you're on the verge of that blowout. And yeah. It just teeters back and forth to being a game and not being a game in the end. Got a D up on the three-point range, though. They guard that perimeter. Going to get us okay. double dribble. This is this is not an exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce looks over at a coach. Says, "I am sorry, coach. That 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 never happens, especially in the middle of a ball game. Boy, that's a frustrating moment when it happens to you." Well, let's see what the Lady Colonels can do to get in Monty Jackson Jenkins, I should say, into the flow of the offense. Looks like that was part of the. Uh, Reason for the timeout a little bit ago. They wanted to get her in the flow of things, and rightfully so. Imani going to be tied up. The arrow will favor Trinity Valley, so they keep possession. But <laughs> this has just gotten ugly. I oh, mean. <laughs> I'm telling you. So two both teams, hands. Yeah, both teams have a have an opportunity to to clean it up here over the final four of 29. Imani for three. Imani Jenkins for three. Love seeing that, and as she hit it, she gave a little bit of Corey Seeger there for Ranger fans. And I love the fist pump as she let it fly. Perfectly scripted, wasn't it, Tim? Telling you, man, that bucket on the other end makes it uh, 19 again. But she needed to see that, and her teammates needed to see that. Absolutely. I love seeing that and love feeling that. Let's face it, these kids are all new out there on the floor except her. They don't know what her history is as far as being able to be a frontline player. She's definitely, uh, you mentioned what she was able to do, and she'll go to the free throw line here in the bonus. So She's the only player returning from last year's national runner-up team. How and great. didn't play at all this part of the, this, until tonight. This is her first game of the season. Yeah, so chance for her to kind of leave her mark here. So at to go. four minute mark, Trinity Valley's Amani Jenkins is suiting up here tonight, getting back in the Cardinal White. Goes one of two at the stripe. So four points in the last 30 plus seconds for her. Three. Lady Carter's with three players with four fouls on the floor. Amani with a block. Missed everything on that one. It's pulled down by Baxter. Out to the outlet, Edwards. Edwards over to Imani for three. I think she lost the handles. <laughs> Maddie's smiling at it because she knows that she was set up for the three-pointer, just got in too big a hurry. I think her eyes got a little big, like this is this is how you <laughs> you envision it. Okay, I'm finally getting my chance here in the last five minutes of the ball game. Isn't it nice to look up on the floor and all the players have the same kind of shoes on? They look sharp. They look That's good. a rarity these days, Tim. Well, it's a rarity if both shoes are the same shoe these days, isn't it? I mean, a pair of shoes may be two different shoes. 320 left. Thought about the three, not going to drive inside and realize there's nowhere to go. So seven on the clock. Oh, nice job. Good, good take inside as 
Had a lot Bryce of traffic Harvey to negotiate there, Tim. Yeah, Bryce Harvey car the bucket for her. Money running through the pattern. KJ Edwards thought about a three. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Three on the way, and count that for Maddie Bush. Number Maddie, her first three-pointer of the game, her seventh on the season. Trinity Valley closing in on that 80-point, three points a game. They're sitting right there, 76 points. Still two and a half to go. Kick out for three. It's good. Well, they've had a good night behind the stripe. Eight three-pointers now for the Lady Dragons. Eight. Coming in averaging two. two nine. Yeah, right at three a game. So they have shot it well, but not well enough. When April makes her mind up, she's going to go to the goal. She's hard to stop. Nicely done there for she's got April Edwards. 13 now in the game. Three on the other end. Nine three-pointers now for the Lady Dragons. Z Zachariah <laughs> Dozier for three. That's why they got the cough button on here. That's nice. Shot for three and a foul. Foul's going to be on Bryce Harvey Carr. So it'll be three free throws coming here. Amani will have a uh, chance to add to that stat total. I'm, I'm glad to see her getting some opportunities here, even though this one's been long decided. It's, it's important to get these opportunities. But at some point, her minutes are going to count. Sure, season, exactly. You know? exactly. With the stretch of games they got coming up for sure. Yeah, and, and the fact that, you know, I guess the bright side of something like this. Her legs are going to be fresh. She's not actually in game shape, but when she gets there, she's going to not have the wear and tear that a lot of these other guys have, got, uh, have been having. Six points in the game, 80 to 61 Lady Cardinals, 130 left. Shot over the top for three. Ten, ten three-pointers. <laughs> ten threes, but I'm telling you, Dozier's had about three in a row. <laughs> She's, she's Lord Almighty, they came in hitting 2.9. <laughs> Three on the way from Jenkins. Not there. Hitting the floor, letting it fly. <laughs> <laughs> Approaching the final minute now. A foul going to be caught here on KJ. So with 64 seconds left in this one, TVCC. Well, they're is, in good shape, Tim, but you got to give this parish team a lot of credit for the fight they came in with tonight and plays as hard as they did. Exactly here as uh, they they uh, left it all on the line out there tonight. And they, I'm sure they didn't count on hitting 10 three pointers. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, that is that's been an impressive night from behind the, the three point line. Going two one for two on that rebound taken by Bush. This will improve Trinity Valley to five and three in the conference. Take the shot clock down. Good. Be able to nearly get this to one more possession. Skip pass over to April Edwards. Edwards. Shot is 4-2. It's going to be rebounded by the Lady Dragons. Rice, Harvey Carr up and under and out of bounds. I didn't see, I couldn't see the official. Foul is going to be on Kennedy Kay Davis. Kennedy. Kennedy Davis picking up the foul. That'll be her first foul of the ballgame. Chance for the Lady Dragons to make it look respectable. And they have made a, had a respectable performance tonight. Yeah, they're sitting at 15 here. As this thing could have got real ugly a little bit ago. It hasn't always been pretty for the Lady Cardinals, but it's been efficient. That's a good word. They've been efficient. They've, they've you know, had real nice stretches. That's stone both. So Amani brings it out and then hands off to KJ. Can't quite dribble it out, but they don't have to be in a hurry either. A little exhibition here as KJ gives way to Edwards. And now a foul on Dozier. Dozier's got 21 points. I think she thought, I'm going to try and go get the quick steal here and 
get a layup. Add a little more. April goes to the free throw line with 13 points. This free throw would help uh, move them officially over that average. So now at 81, Lady Cards come in averaging 80.3. So Kennedy Davis leads the Lady Cardinals with 15 points. Now then April Edwards and Lady Mwamba have 14. And now April is tied with high scoring honor for the Lady Cardinals with 15 points. So good second half for Liddy Mwamba and April, leading score. Final 13 seconds, shot on the way. Not there. Balancing act right in front of Coach Brittany Johnson. Christian. That's how it'll end here. 82-65, 17-point win for Trinity Valley. They improved to 15-5 and 5-3 and five and in conference play. Benny, final thoughts tonight from Athens. Well, Lady Cardinals were outscored in that final quarter, 24 to 18. Not that it mattered, because that's when you build a big lead. You have so they have the luxury of giving up some points. The Lady Cardinals were led by April Edwards with 15 and Kennedy Davis with 15. Lady Mwamba had 14. Kennedy Johnson had 10. And uh, then everybody else was in six, six or more points. But the Lady Cardinals, 10, are going to improve to 15 and 5 overall, 5 and 3 in conference play. Paris, who gave a great effort tonight, falls to 7 and 15 on the season, 3 and 5 in conference play. Lady Cardinals have a huge game Saturday at Blinn, taking on Bren uh, taking on at Brenham, you're taking on Blinn in a 2 p.m. start, and you can find that game on the TBSN Sports Network. The, did I say that right? I believe so. TB and TBS and Sports Network. TBS and Sports Network. Yeah, I think so, that's right. But anyway, you can find it on there. I'll post the link on our on our Facebook and uh, X pages, folks, for you before the game. Cardinals are playing right now in uh, Paris, starting at seven o'clock. Uh, you can find that on the Paris the Paris YouTube channel. And Cardinals will be at home Saturday against Panola. I'm looking and forward to that. 4 p.m. start is going to be a huge game, and we hope you'll join us on the Cardinal Sports Network. For Tim Howard and the entire Cardinal Sports Network team, this is Benny Rogers bidding you good evening from Leon's Pitcher Court at Historic Cardinal Gym. <laughs>